Hey guys, Toby down at Pram Markets, and I'm gonna show you how to cook a pork neck, which isn't that often utilized in general. I'm gonna show you how to butterfly it open and put a beautiful filling in there, or a fast, and then slow roast it. It's awesome, it takes a little bit of time, but well worth it. This is how we do it. Start by taking the pork neck and using a really sharp knife. I'm just gonna slice a little bit down, keeping that skin which will finally become crackling intact and we'll slice through the middle of the neck there to butterfly this open and this will give us a nice platform for putting the stuffing into. Use your hands to push that down and then I like to make a little crisscross pattern with the knife which once again just gives you a little bit of area for the stuffing to penetrate into even more. Once you've done that, pop the pork to the side. Take one to two shallots, depending on size. Once you've got your shallots peeled, you can finely slice them. It doesn't really matter how you slice them because we're gonna cook them right down to their translucent and then they're gonna go into a filling as well. So they'll be really, really cooked by the time this dish is done. Once you've got the shallots sliced, we'll take four garlic cloves. Give them a little bit of a bash and remove the skin. Once you've got the garlic peeled, you can run through it just a little bit with a knife. You don't need to super finely chop it. And now we can start to make the stuffing. Add the butter to a heavy base pot over a medium heat. Once the butter's melted, you can add some fennel seeds into there, the finely sliced shallots and the garlic and just cook that over a low to medium heat, stirring from time to time until the shallots soft and translucent, which will take about eight to 10 minutes. If you're using fresh figs, beautiful jammy ones, which I just got from the market, we can just tear them straight in. And I don't mind if this filling is really quite coarse and, and rough. So we'll use about two of those figs. Just kind of squeeze them into there. Take some sage and you can bunch it together and just run through it with a knife. It doesn't need to be super fine. You can pop that directly in. Take some pistachio nuts or pistachio nuts, depending where in the world you come from. And either in a mortar or pestle or food processor or with a knife, we'll just sort of break them down just a little. Pop them straight in. Take some prosciutto, and you can just slice into that. Break it up with your fingers, otherwise it'll bunch together in the stuffing. Add into the mixture one egg to bind it. Some salt, not too much. And some pepper. A drizzle of olive oil. I'm using really coarse breadcrumbs made of leftover bread. You can pop that straight in. And the cooked out shallot, garlic and fennel seed. Use a spoon to bring all this together. Put that mixture directly on top of the pork and maybe just start with a little bit, not all of it. Use your fingers to spread out as evenly as possible. Careful how much of the mixture you put in. If you put too much in, it'll squeeze straight out of it when we roll it back up. Once you've got a beautiful even layer, really carefully roll it up. Don't squeeze too tightly. To secure it close, take some butcher's string or twine, make a slip knot, and then go just about two centimetres around one end of the neck, being careful not to squeeze too tightly. Once you've secured the pork neck closed, you can cut off that string and fasten it. While the pork's there, you can season the outside really generously with pepper and salt. Heat a large pot or casserole dish that's stove proof and oven proof over a medium high heat. Splash in a couple of tablespoons of oil. Once the oil's hot, pork can go in. And we want to brown that on all sides for about two to three minutes each side or until golden brown. 
While the pork's sealing away, we can start to bring together a mirepoix. So for that, I'll use some thyme. I'll chop this half onion just into three. Once that pork neck is browned up on all sides, very carefully lift it out. Mirepoix can go in along with the thyme and we'll let that cook away just for a minute. Once the vegetables are in, the pork goes back on top. We're gonna to put this into the oven for 10 minutes, at which time I'll put some wine into there. We'll continue to cook that for about an hour, basting every 10 minutes or so. This pork's been cooking for about an hour. I've been basting the whole way through, about every 10 minutes, and I've pulled it out of the oven, given it a good rest, and here we are on the board. And I must say, it looks fine. So, let's take a couple of slices out. 